Let's take a moment to discuss the difference between vector technology and pixel technology. When you're working in an application such as Toon Boom Studio, the artwork that you're generating is considered to be vectors. A vector is simply another word for a line. Let's go to Toon Boom real fast. As you see, I'm in, I'm in Photoshop. I'm going to come back here in just a second. I'm going to go to Toon Boom Studio. Let me go ahead and hide Photoshop. When you create artwork in Toon Boom Studio, you're creating lines that are described mathematically. And this generates artwork that is very small in size. And that means as far as storage size. This artwork would be described to the computer as this line has an angle of this line and is connected to this point. As you saw earlier, when I created this line, I created two points. I had this point here and this point. And when you move your mouse left or right, up and down, you're able to create a line that is described by the computer mathematically as far as the degrees or all that kinds of fun stuff. And this handle that you see here lies tangent to the curve. And we'll talk more about how to draw these lines later on as well. But when you're in a program such as Photoshop, what happens is when you create artwork, it is created by creating pixels or little boxes, as you see here in this grid as an example. Now, I'm going to zoom in on this line. And no matter how far I zoom in, the line will always remain crisp. It will always remain pristine. And that is another benefit to using vectors. If you were to create a picture of a character or a logo, you could zoom in on it until the end of the galaxy, and it will always be sharp like this. Now I'm going to go back to Photoshop. I'm going to zoom in on a part of this image here. And as you see here, we have jaggies. This is what you're dealing with when you're working on a raster or pixel based application such as Photoshop. The artwork is generated by creating tons of little boxes called pixels or rasters. And then you have these lighter color ones here that give you the illusion of blending or smoothing. Now this is called stepping or jaggies. And when you have a smooth artwork it's called anti-aliasing. And once again that's what this little light area here does. It anti-aliases or fools the eye into thinking this is a smooth line. So I'm going to zoom out and show you that the size of this image is 9.43 megabytes. Now I have some Photoshop documents that are 200-300 megabytes and my Illustrator files are always like under 10 megabytes because you're not dealing with all of these little boxes. Now when the computer is creating artwork with these little boxes here, it has to keep track of where each one of these pixels is in the image, the color, and all that other stuff here. And each one of these pixels can be one of a million colors, for example. So, you know, you're dealing with a lot of information here. So Toon Boom Studio can import this kind of artwork and you can use this as a background and that kind of stuff. And I'll talk more about that later. But I just wanted to talk to you about the difference between working with vectors and pixels. Some other vector applications are Flash, Illustrator, and other pixel applications, pretty much Photoshop, and some of the other generic ones that you'll find if you go to like a Solid Comp USA. But I just wanted to mention Photoshop is pretty much the daddy of the pixel applications. And when I zoom in, I will never ever be able to retain that pristine quality of that straight line that we have in Toon Boom Studio. So let's go back to Toon Boom and look at that line again. You see that? I'm zoomed in all the way and this line is nice and sharp because the computer doesn't need to draw little boxes to create this line. It draws two points and connects the line based on the math that the computer is doing in its head. So that's the difference between pretty much vectors and pixels when you're working with computer applications.